What a shock. They're, they're Australian. Just run around <laughs> looking surprised. <laughs> With those mass, I would love to try an ostrich leg, those fucking massive legs. Just throw that on the bobby. I'd be happy with that. A um, little difference between cats and dogs. Um, size. Um, but um, cats have more than 100 vocal sounds, while dogs only have about 10. It's because dogs are big and stupid. Yeah. And <laughs> Koreans eat them. <laughs> they certainly aren't eating cats that we know about. No, That's there's a Chinese. thing about there was a thing about that in the news too. Some about them, like they're they they're taking away pet dogs in Korea. Yeah, uh, no, that was uh, in North yeah North Korea. King John Un yeah. had ordered all the families to give up their dogs so they could produce more food. I doubt that that's true. I question that fully. I fully, fully question the shit out of that. Seems stupid, but they do eat them, yeah. and they should because they're dumb. Uh, and they only produce ten sounds. Like... You know why dogs only produce ten sounds? That's all they can think of. They're stupid. Dogs are stupid. <laughs> so you guys know. Like I'm not saying dogs don't are have good a dog. for smelling. That's have it. a dog. Enjoy your pet dog. But they're not. An, they're not a smart creature. No. You can train them to do stuff, but they can only say a couple things. You can train everything to do stuff. Yeah. I trained a rabbit to do as much as a dog. It wasn't easy, but I did. (laughs) Took a long time, but... (laughs) Now, here's one that I'm calling complete and utter bullshit on. The average person falls asleep in seven minutes. Yeah, I've heard that a few times. Bullshit. Uh, what stage do you consider a person ready to fall asleep? I don't when know. When their eyes close the last time from the do, moment they lay dying? Right? I mean, bullshit. Just call them bullshit on that one. I've been waiting to go to sleep since 2018, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what average is. <laughs> but I've never gone to sleep in seven minutes. Oh, there's times. There's there's times where it definitely happens, but I wouldn't I I don't know, they say that's the average. Yeah. I, I mean don't... I've fallen asleep before even going to bed, so Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I've fallen asleep I've eating. fallen asleep mid conversation. <laughs> I fall I fell asleep eating vagina once. With a mouthful of pizza just <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, if you ever want to do something and never have it lived down for a woman, pass out while you're eating her out. They get a little frothy about that. Just I would imagine. <laughs> That's why I usually take I an did. iPod with me or something. <laughs> I did myself to explain just saying, it's just so comforting. <laughs> but, you know, it didn't quite work very well. <laughs> no, I could see that being a bad thing. That's why yeah. I've just decided to not have sex anymore. It's so much easier. <laughs> no more embarrassment. <laughs> I'm glad I made this choice. <laughs> oh, man. Did you know that starfish have no brains? That doesn't surprise me. No. I don't think you could teach a starfish to do a whole lot except for move. I don't know. Bob seems like he's got a brain. <laughs> there's there's a starfish uh, in, in Seashell. Lives on a, under a dock at a, at a bar. There, there's a bar in a marina on the shore. There, it's uh, yeah. called the Lighthouse. And Bob the Starfish lives there. He's like six feet from tip to tip. Holy shit! And he's been there for years. Every once in a while, he fucks off and goes and does his little starfish thing, and then comes back. And I don't know what he does while he's away, but I don't know if he's still there. It's been a few years since I checked up on him, but. When I took that girl from Bed Bath there, he was still there. Okay. Been there for years, yeah. But I don't know if he has a brain or not. I never asked him. <laughs> if he didn't have a brain, I don't think he'd be answering you. He's a he's a big old starfish though. I just typed in Bob the Starfish Vancouver. You know what comes up? Bob Mole, that's a starfish room. <laughs> oh good 
1998 in Vancouver. <laughs> I played the Starfish Room in 99. There you go. With the Good Time Clubsters. We opened for Martin Shelley of the Rio Statics. It was very fantastic. That's and cool. then for no reason at all, um, my singer broke my guitar and I took my shirt off and lit it on fire. And then I got kicked <laughs> out. Because <laughs> that's a rock and roll, baby. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> I'm still stoked that I can say that I played on the same stage as Stevie Ray Vaughan. I played at the Elma Combo in downtown Toronto on the same very stage that Stevie played on. That's pretty cool. I was stoked. I even mimicked the one thing that was very popular from the, if you ever watched that concert footage from that, um, which I have, by the way, um, there's a particular scene because this was uh, Stevie's like highlight of his drug drug use and uh he had a little tray with a bunch of blow on it and right after he finished playing a song he just walks straight over to the fucking amp and does a huge rail and then walks back to the stage right there on video (laughs) the camera when the camera realizes what he's doing by the time they cut away his head's already up and he's starting to walk back (laughs) so i reenacted i reenacted that 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 thing while i was on stage just for like the two people in the crowd that got the reference so, but they did, and that was awesome. So the guy, came, one guy, came up to me after the show. He's like, "Dude, I caught what you did, man. That's like a Stevie thing." I'm like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, you got it." <laughs> yes. That's funny. Somebody else got it. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. After I played, we went to because uh, there's an upstairs to the Elmo that you could go up there. The secondary room. There's a whole bunch of punk bands will play up there, and um, we went upstairs and there's a Toronto band, a bunch of fucking goofs. They were playing, and it's the first time I'd ever heard them, and um, ended up uh, having a couple of drinks with a couple of the band members afterwards. And I'm, I was asking them all types of questions. I'm like, "So you guys like pretty well known, right?" The guys like, "If you walk around anywhere in Toronto, you see BFG. That's us that did it. That's not our fans. <laughs> that's us." <laughs> I'm like, "That's fucking punk. Way to go, man!" <laughs> yeah, you you still see ashes of purg- purgatory tagged all over Vancouver. That was all Jay. <laughs> Jay love tagging. That's so cool. But uh, that's a pretty punk rock name. I like that band name. Bunch of fucking goofs. Yeah, good name. And their name is so written as one long word. That's cool. So when you're trying that's to read punk. it, it's like, the oh, fuck does that say? Wow, these guys don't even do space bars. That's amazing. That yeah, space Very bars impressive. aren't punk. No, no, that's conforming to the man. Exactly. <laughs> um, did you know that porcupines float in water? I did not know that, but next time I'm drowning, I'll try to cling onto one. <laughs> I mean, talk about just useless. <laughs> Great. If I go to grab one, I get quilled to fucking death. <laughs> you know who really doesn't think it's useful at all? Fucking porcupines. They don't think that's cool. Because <laughs> they don't go anywhere near fucking water to get drowned in. <laughs> no, and if they did, they, it would just suck. They just Like, what do you do? You just float? Like, they're, they're not, They can't fight their way back to shore. They just float until they get eaten by some fucking whale shark. <laughs> and the best thing is, I bet you they probably, once they get out there, they probably flip over so the quills go underwater. So their belly is just exposed to any fucking bird going by going, ooh, goody. <laughs> yeah, I could land on his face and eat him alive. <laughs> they're real stoked they float. That's a stupid thing. That's like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? If there is God, he's stupid. Makes God dumb animals. clearly does drugs. Yeah. God clearly does drugs. Look at the platypus. Look at the fucking <laughs> the awesome. one in, The Why platypus is the one creature float? that should never exist. <laughs> the fuck? How does that even enter your mind? Oh yeah, this one should float. Why? It should. <laughs> it just should. It lives in a forest. Yeah, fuck him. Let him float. I, he just gets all shitty about it because I command it. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Thank God. God. There you go. Fuck. <laughs> You know, while we were talking about the um, grasshopper has ears located by its uh, back legs. Yeah. Or on its stomach, I should say. 
Well, crickets have ears located on their front legs just below the knee. Well, apparently they're all deaf because they're loud as fuck and they drive me nuts. <laughs> they should have ears on their head where they can hear shit and they could all shut the fuck up. You should hear them around here. You probably hear them on the podcast if you listen close enough. And they go all fucking day. It's I not have a nighttime before. thing. They go they're just all always day. out. <laughs> so well, why not? It's like permanent vacation out there for them, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> How long did they um, Too long. The hottest planet in the solar system, Eric. Any guesses? Mercury. No. Venus. Okay. It has an estimated surface temperature of about 864 degrees Fahrenheit. That sucks. Yeah, so don't go... awesome. I don't know. What's the one that rains diamonds? I think that's Um... I uh, can't remember. Yeah, I think it's Neptune. Something, something like that. All the other planets are weird. And ours is decent. And flat. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, so Mercury, just so you know, it goes anywhere between minus 279 Fahrenheit at night and 801 Fahrenheit during the day. It's a little a little on the humid side. So a little hot during the day and a little chilly at night. 800 degrees. Yeah. That's hot. <laughs> uh, that's hot enough to melt lead, just so you know. And do what with it? Why do you have all this um, lead you want to melt? Uh, in case you want to make a lead puddle. Yeah, cool. I, I could see that. Yeah. Lead's bad for you. You shouldn't melt it. Just so you guys yeah. know. In case you didn't know. There's there's a fact. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> it's just one of those things you need to know now. <laughs> Do you know what the largest man-made lake in the U.S. is? Uh, Nancy Pelosi's vagina? <laughs> no, that'd be Nancy Pelosi's big mouth. I have no idea. Um, I didn't even know there was a man-made lake anywhere. Yep, and once I tell you that, she'd be like, fuck, I actually think I might have known that. Um, lake Mead, which was created by the Hoover, Hoover Dam. No idea. Did not know that. Yep. Yeah. That's one I didn't know. I, I would have guessed Tahoe I have else I if I had to guess. But I don't think Tahoe is man-made. Actually, I think Lake Tahoe is man-made for some reason. That's why it was my happened. guess, but I could be wrong about that. <laughs> American fans, right? Didn't tell me. Is Tahoe man-made? Um, I don't know. Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail.com. Let me know about Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. Not Tahoe Bell. <laughs> Um, hmm, I don't know. It's a large freshwater lake. Before I moved to Kelowna when I was 10 years old, I had never swam in anything but a man-made lake. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Nowhere to swim in Brandon, Manitoba. Except for, like, pools. <laughs> But there's no lake, there's no, there's nothing, there's a really filthy river you can't swim in. That's gross. Um, it's not because it's filthy, it's because there's a dam and it, it rushes too fast and you'll die. Um, no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so it's actually probably pretty clean because it's so fast moving. But anyway, um, yeah, never swam in anything but a man-made lake until I was 10 years old. And then I saw Okanagan Lake and I was like, holy shit, that's a thing. And then I saw the ocean, and I was like, my God. I hate Brandon, Manitoba. I don't. It's a lovely little town. It's just I, I like water, and it sucked that I didn't have any. But I didn't know it sucked until I was 10. I thought it was all yeah. good. All, up to that point, it was just a great place. <laughs> um, did you know that there are no poisonous snakes in the state of Maine? 
I did know that.